Hello my students everywhere and welcome to our first English grammar. I am Muhammad Sabah Al Khair and I'm going to teach you grammar during the next lessons. Okay, today we are going to speak about present symbol. This is our first lesson. Today we are going to speak about present symbol. The first question that you have to ask yourself is when do we use present symbol? When do we use present symbol? In fact, we use present symbol in four cases, four main cases. Number one, we can use present symbol for fact. When we speak about fact, the sentence can be present symbol. Example for fact, it rains in autumn. Another example, the sun gives us light. The sun gives us light. When I say it rains in autumn, this is a fact. And when I say the sun gives us light, this is also a fact. So the first case in using present symbol, we use it for fact. Number two, we use present symbol also for habit for habit or habitual action. Example, I like football. I like football. Example two, Selma sleeps early. Selma sleeps early. When I say I like football, that means this is my habit. Selma sleeps early, that means this is her habit. Number three, also use present symbol for repeated action, for repeated Action. Example, we fast during Ramadan. We fast during Ramadan. When I say we fast during Ramadan, that means we do this every year. Every year we fast during Ramadan. So this is a repeated action. And the repeated action is the action that happens many times. Number four, we can also use present symbol with some adverbs like usually sometimes often generally always every and so on so we use present symbol in four cases number one we use it for fact number two we use it for habit and number three we use it for repeated action and number four we use present symbol with some adverbs like usually, sometimes, often, generally, always, every, and so on. Okay, now let us go to the rules of present symbol. In fact, we have three different rules for present symbol. We have the affirmative rule, affirmative rule. And the affirmative rule, we usually use it when we have an ordinary verb between brackets. When we have an ordinary verb between brackets, we use affirmative rule. What is the affirmative rule for present symbol? I, we, you, they, plus verb, he, she, it, verb, plus s. This is the affirmative rule. Now, let us go to the negative rule. Negative rule. In negative rule, I, we, you, they, don't plus verb. He, she, it, doesn't plus verb. Number three, the interrogative rule. Interrogative rule, we would do after that, we would I, we, you, they, plus verb, or we can put does at the beginning of the sentence. After that, we would he, she, it, plus verb. Here we have something which is so important. We use the affirmative rule when we have an infinitive verb between brackets. Example, if we have between brackets go, we use the affirmative rule. We use the negative rule when we have not inside the brackets. Example, when we have between brackets not go, in this case, we use negative rule. 
When do we use the interrogative rule? We use the interrogative rule when we have a question mark at the end of the sentence. Now, let us have some examples. Okay, example number one. We sometimes not stay here. We sometimes not stay here. The first question is that, is this sentence present symbol? Yes, the sentence present symbol. Why? Because we have sometimes. Question number two, is it affirmative, negative, or interrogative? The sentence here is negative. Why? Because we have not inside the brackets. So, the sentence present symbol, because we have sometimes, and the sentence is negative because we have not. Okay, what is the subject in the sentence? The subject is we. We in present symbol, we usually add don't plus verb. So, the answer will be we sometimes don't stay here. We sometimes don't stay here. This is the answer for example number one. Example number two, what you cook every day? What you cook every day? The first question, is this a present symbol? The answer, yes, this is a present symbol. Why? Because we have every day. Question number two, is it present symbol affirmative, negative, or interrogative? The answer is interrogative because we have a question mark. As you can see, there is a question mark at the end of the sentence. So the sentence present symbol because we have every day and it is interrogative because we have a question mark. What is the subject in this sentence? The subject is she. With she, we usually put does at the beginning and we put the verb after the subject. So we must put does before she and we put the verb cook. The verb cook. Okay. Example number three. This is the answer. What does she cook? What does she cook? Example number three. Ahmed usually read and write at night. Ahmed usually read and write at night. Is it present symbol? Yes, this is present symbol. Why? Because we have usually. Question number two. Is it affirmative, negative, or interrogative? The sentence here. Of course, it's affirmative. Why? Because the verb read and the verb write, both of them are ordinary verb without not and without question mark. So the sentence is present symbol because we have usually and it is affirmative because we have verb between brackets. Ahmed usually read. The subject is Ahmed. Ahmed refers to he. He in present symbol affirmative. We usually add S. Ahmed usually reads and writes and writes. Ahmed usually reads and writes. More examples? Example number four. Wood float on water, but iron not float. Wood float on water, but iron not float. When we say wood float on water, but I am not float, that means you are speaking about a fact. This is a fact. Because the word float in Arabic, yatfu. Would float on water. Khashab yatfu ala al But I am not float. Amma al ma'dan fala yatfu. That means you are speaking about fact. So the sentence present symbol because we have a fact. Is it affirmative, negative, or interrogative? As you can see, the sentence has two parts. In the first part, we have float, and this is an affirmative sentence. In the second part, we have not float, and this is a negative sentence. So the first part is affirmative, while the, neg uh, while the second part is negative. The sentence present symbol, because it is fact, it is affirmative, because we have verb, float, and negative, because we have not. So what is the answer? Would refers to it. It in affirmative present symbol, we usually add S for the verb. So we should say wood floats on water. But iron not float. This is a negative sentence. What is the subject for the second part? It. 
it in present simple negative we usually add doesn't plus the verb so look at the answer floats and doesn't float floats for the first part and doesn't float for the second part example number five she have breakfast at 10 o'clock she have breakfast at 10 o'clock the question here is it a present symbol the answer is yes this is a present symbol why when i say she have breakfast at 10 o'clock that means this is a habit is it affirmative negative or interrogative the sentence is affirmative because we have the verb between brackets have in the ordinary case or in the affirmative case since it's present symbol because it is habit and it is affirmative what is the subject the subject is she with she we usually add verb plus s the verb between brackets is have when we add s to the verb have it's changed to has of course don't say has this is incorrect you have to say she has breakfast at 10 o'clock the answer has okay now let us move to example number six muslims not eat pakon muslims not eat pakon pakon what does it mean pakon in arabic lahm al khinzir muslims not eat pakon when i say muslims not eat pakon that means i'm speaking about a fact according to our Islamic rules we do not eat pakko so this present symbol because it is fact and it is negative because we have not the sentence present symbol fact negative because we have not what is the subject the subject is Muslims and you have to note that we have s that means I'm speaking about blur Muslims refers to they they in present symbol negative we add don't plus verb Muslims don't eat Muslims don't eat pakon this is the answer Muslims don't eat don't eat pakon okay examples from Sudan examinations examples from Sudan examination now let us have some examples example number one how you go to school every day how you go to school every day the question is this sentence a present symbol the answer yes this sentence is present symbol why because we have every day is it affirmative negative or interrogative the sentence is interrogative as we have question mark at the end of the sentence so sentence is interrogative okay what is the subject subject is you in present symbol interrogative rule you we put do before the subject and we put the verb after the subject so we must put do you and the verb go the answer how do you go to school every day present symbol every day interrogative as we have a question mark and the answer do you go example number two they usually not spend their holidays here they usually not spend their holidays here is it a present symbol yes this is a present symbol because we have usually okay is it affirmative negative or interrogative the sentence is negative why because we have not inside the brackets so we must use the negative rule what is the subject here the subject is they they in present symbol negative we add don't plus verb so the answer will be don't plus verb spend okay sentence present symbol usually negative we have not don't spend this is the answer example number three it is also example from sudan examination certificate you visit your relative regularly you visit your relative regularly okay this sentence present symbol because we have regularly regularly is the word that denotes repetition of the action the action is repeated here so the sentence present symbol regularly and it is interrogative as we have a question mark 
at the end of the sentence. What is the subject in the sentence? The subject is you. The subject is you. In present symbol, interrogative, with you, we would do first, then we put the subject, you, and after that, we put the verb visit. So the answer is do you visit your relative regularly? Do you visit your relative regularly? More examples, also from Sudan examination. Sudan produce oil. Sudan produce oil. When we say Sudan produce oil, that means we are speaking about a fact. So this present symbol because it is a fact. Is it affirmative, negative, or interrogative? The sentence is affirmative. Why? Because the verb produce is in the affirmative form. Okay, sentence present symbol fact and it is affirmative because we have the verb produce in the affirmative form. Okay, what is the subject here? Subject is Sudan. Sudan refers to refers to it. It in present symbol. Affirmative we add S to the verb. So the verb produce plus S, Sudan produces. Sudan produces oil. Yeah, Sudan produces oil. This is the answer. Number five. How often you visit your relative? How often you visit your relative? This is present symbol, often. And it is an interrogative because we have a question mark at the end of the sentence. What is the subject? The subject is you. Subject is you. You in present symbol interrogative, we usually put do first. When I say first, that means before the subject. It is not important to be first at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? When we say first, before the subject, we put do before the subject. Then we have the subject, and after that we have the verb. The verb is visit, so the answer will be do you visit? Do you visit your relative? Present symbol, often, interrogative, the answer do you visit? Example number six. Mubarak always have water early in the morning. Mubarak always have water early in the morning. Is it a present symbol? Yeah, this is a present symbol. Always. Is it affirmative, negative, or interrogative? The sentence is affirmative. We have the verb between brackets in the affirmative form. Present symbol? Affirmative. Question number two. What is the subject here? The subject is Mubarak refers to he. He in present symbol. Affirmative, we add verb plus s. The verb between brackets is have. When we add s to the verb have, of course we do not say haves, but we change it to has. As I told you before, Mubarak always has water early in the morning. And this is the answer has okay thank you very much for following me with my best wishes muhammad sabah